On today's leg of the journey, we actually today's leg of the journey. He's not going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to Bow Hill, Chesterfield. Today is Friday the 13th. Don't uh, do it. And there was already been problems. Our taxi was mega late, and there's a little truck that stuck the br smacked into the bridge down there. So there's already problems already, and we ain't even left Rouge Tread Valley left. For fuck's sake. now at Tamworth which is one of my favourite places everyone knows that by now because I always mention it and Friday the 13th is fucking pissing me off for god's sakes already if Friday the 13th is not too careful I'm going to take Friday the 13th and I'm going to shove my foot right off his fucking arse now look, rant over now unfortunately since our taxi was late because it took the wrong it got to the wrong address for god's sakes how can you get Ravensley confused with Liso? I don't care, I don't know. <laughs> so, we had the wrong taxi, we had to walk it on, from, to the railway station from our taxi because the, there was a lorry stuck under the bridge, I had to decide to smack it. Right, you read the fucking size of your fucking lorry. If you can't go under the bridge, don't go under the bridge. Anyway, so now we're at Tamworth and Unfortunately, with all the delays that happened up to Rouge this morning, we couldn't um, tell you where we go today and all that shit. So, we're now at Tower. We start at Rouge Tread Valley this morning. I'm going to keep close saying we're going to be at Tower now <laughs> and then uh, and all that. Everyone knows we're at Tower. You can see Friday the 13th's getting to me a bit. Uh, right, so. He, he gets a cookie every time he says Tower. Cookie, you. <laughs> right, so we're at Tamworth. <laughs> For God's sake. We're at Tamworth. Tamworth, 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 okay. Tamworth. Okay. Right. So next stop will be Derby. And then we'll go to Chesterfield on the East Midlands Meridians. <coughs> two, two, twos. Which are better than fucking cross country crappy voyages. Guaranteed. Then after we get to Chesterfield, our journey ends by rail and we've got to take a bus, for God's sakes. Might a be a bus. nice bus. A bus. It's a vintage bus. Anyway, after we get the bus, to we go to a place called Barrow Hill, which we'll be hosting the Fab Four Garda. Oh, it's just voyages. Sod off. So we go to Barrow Hill. And... Um, there's going to be loads of steam like there, it's going to be Mallard, Green Arrow, Tornado, Blue Peter, which I ain't seen yet. Uh, but there's not a new locust I ain't going to see, so it's the LDR Steam Gala. You, you forgot Bitten. A Bitten as well. Uh, the C1. There's all sorts of LDR locos there. What's going to be the Fab Four Gala? Because we're going to have the Flying Scots were there, but unfortunately due to technicalities and they can't be asked to rebuild it in time, even though it's technically ready, but they can't be asked to send it there in case the problem's there. They uh, pulled it out, so now it's just going to be an event with full of LDR locomotives. But the other reason why we're going there is to find this ugly looking thing. One of its kind, 
a Class 89 electric loco, which was built for the East Coast Main Line, then got withdrawn, then GR brought it, GNER brought it back for use in Leeds from London, and then it withdrew again, it's sold into preservation. It looks like a piece of cheese. It's a badger. It's a nickname. piece of cheese. 89001. So we'll go over to see if we can find that as well. That's why the title is called Badgering the LDR. So we're now all across country turbo star, 17102. We just passed the central river now. And um, we're heading to Derby. Larchay to Derby, get to Chesterfield. And also, in my latest issue of Heritage Valley magazine, which has a nice duchess on the front. Yuck! Coming up in our next issue has Michael Portillo in it. I still dare you to come to Bushy though. <laughs> come on, Michael, please come to Bushy to do one of your railway journeys there. Please. And be outdone by Cyber Paul. Yeah. Apparently, you mentioned in his. because they're going to do an interview with him. Right. Michael tells his stuff for railway journeys from his early age. His pride in all his saving to sell the Carlisle line. And even the, the day that hundreds of school children nearly ruined his filming along his BBC two journeys. For me, it'd be like. And the day that 100 of FCC railway staff nearly ruined the film of my railway journeys. So, let it go. First crap for connect. Let it go. Come on, let, let it go. No, I'm just floating. Okay. Because I filled the ball gate and they didn't stop it. Mind you, they were too busy dispatching the train on the other side. What are you going to do next? Moonwalk at Essex Road or something? How dare you do spoilers, you bastard. <laughs> Oh, what's a spoiler? That was just me being the joke artist. Oh, well then. So we're on our way to Derby now. We just sit relax and enjoy the blue. You. Two customers just recently joined in this service. Your train manager Darren speaking. The service is uh, the 1018 departure from Derby through to Sheffield, calling next day at Chesterfield, and then Sheffield, where we're due to arrive at 10:52. That's our bus to Bow Hill. That's our bus to Bow Hill. That's horrible. Hmm. This is a Class 89, nicknamed the Badger. This is one on the East Coast Main Line with the Class 91s. Looks a bit ugly though. Oh well, at least I found it now. 
We're now on the Brighton Bell Pool Pound, about 88, as you can see here. <laughs> by the bring this back into Mayline service. And we're having our lunch on the Brighton Bell. See, look, it's all his. And yours. No, it's all his. It's all yours as well. It is. Mm. No wrong with a cheese sandwich. And that's what the brown, uh, it's, that's basically an oil pump in there. And then this here is a traction motor blower. You, you've got traction motors on each of the axles which are underneath at this end, which blows air down uh, to keep your, uh, your traction motors uh, cool. Um, everything in there has been taken out and refurbished and repainted and back in. And uh, the idea, the whole local will end up like that in two or three years time or whenever. There's a small dedicated group working on the local here yeah. and uh, it's a nice project to be involved with, it's very nice. We can get one of these into some preservation, that would be... Well this is the only one in preservation, it's what? the only privately owned one. Well I mean for the um, main line running again, if we can get that, that would be... Yeah. This is a class 09 shunter named Dick Hardley. He's clever, isn't he? Oh, cock. No 14 a day. It's what they do my all together. <laughs> Right, 60163 Tornado, built at Darlington. It's all there. 2009, Lewis Build Boco. Next door is A4 Pacific Mallard. Famous for the fastest speed record in 1938, 126 miles per hour. Over here we have Blue Peter, which is named after a TV show. And the green arrow of the V2. This is your Fab 4 Nylon. There's one thing missing though. The Flying Scotsman. Talk about fair dodging. Oh, the fire's got some of these big island vents. Even though it's broken. He's broken it. Now on board 60163 Tornado and 
J94, we're coming back now after tornadoes hauled one way, J94 hauled the other way. We're in a composite compartment coach. It's been a good day. Now we've finished the band of Garland Bed, it's been a good day. Unfortunately, now we have to go back on some worse than a pacing bus. That's all for a pacing bus. A normal bus. I, I'd like to point out this bus, I've been on this bus in my younger days, it is a very good bus. So I think, I think it used to be 825 out that way. They didn't used to do the 825, but sometimes they went on the 24. What was the old 24? They all just understand the 825 is a bus service run by Aviva, Stafford, Hill. It is one to shite. Big shite. But there were a bus, so we go back to Chester Valley Station on a bus. For God's sake. Chesterfield, it's um, 10 past 6, waiting here half an hour for our train. And because fortunately, it's the cheapest way of getting back was going on this train. The 1839 to London St. Pancras, we're getting off in Derby. We had a good day, we've seen the Class 89, we've seen a lot of the R locomotives. And also, we have seen the Class 60 Preservation Society. Well, Class 60 Preservation Group. Now, to be honest, I do love a good tongue. <laughs> yes, that was... You can probably laugh at that in so many ways. And, but no, I do like Class 60. As you saw... Brown at me when I did my last documentary. If anyone doesn't know what classics they look like, these are what they look like. So, while I was there, I decided three pounds I spent on this, a mouse mat of a tub. A mighty mouse mat! Look, it's even got... It's a bendy one. It's even got Tug 74 on it. Cancer Tug. Teenage Spirit. A mighty tug. So anyway, we're just waiting here for watch the meridians go by. I don't give a fuck about cross country or northern rail. So we're just waiting here and to our train. See if anybody else comes up. Not expected surprise when we got back to Derby. West Coast Railways 57601. Wonder what this is doing here then. A rare surprise though. For some reason we left Derby, we just stopped all of a sudden. Mm. And that's my tea. Fish, chips and curry sauce. What's that got to do with railway journeys? Fish used to go in from Fort William. From Valley. Oh yeah, the fish trades. Oh, it tastes nice. From the station fish bar opposite Derby Railway Station. There, that 
box of the driver of the turbo star. So it must have seriously happened. We've moved slightly up to the pear tree now, which is Pear Tree Station, not Pear Tree State. Well, that's always sweet, but there could be a chance we could be our trade at half past eight. And it's the last trade to reach the Trent Valley. Missed out, we've got to go through Birmingham, for fuck's sake. States. We made it. What the fuck did the debating move for God's sakes? Tell you back in town when we see a pendo. Oh shit! Fall and standing. Where's that report? Well, guess what that means. We're standing. Right, we're back at Bushy Tread Bay now. We nearly got fucking screwed by cross country and Friday the fucking 13th. I'll get on to Friday the fucking 13th in a minute. Now, unfortunately, well actually no, I'm going to get on it now because this morning as we went to um, Derby, between Stenston, just after Burton and before Stenston Junction, we saw some S-Stock. If you know what S-Stock is, this is what S-Stock is. Looks a little like this. Get the fucking... S-Stock looks like this. <laughs> yeah, it's London Underground units. New units for the... You will see them in the... Um, one where I go to Ipswich, the Ipswich trick documentary. Anyway, so we missed one of them with 20s on them. Um, the Bow Hill Gala was all right. Got a new, lot of things, got some good things, etc. Got back to Derby, we had that single fault. Well, they say single fault, but it was power failure, but it would affect the single, so. Either way, the lost power affected Derby, for God's sake. Well, let them have that one. And. We managed to get back at 25 past 8, enough time for our train to get back here. Now the next journey, which will be a very short one, because I heard there was a jobs worth at Langley Green. <coughs> Excellent. Excellent. So, we're going to pop down next week, which will be the 20th of April. April. And we're going to go Rooster Town, Bergen, Langley Green and back just for this job's worth. Now, before I end the show, I just got one thing to tell Friday the fucking 13th. Friday the 13th is a horse's arse. You tried to fucking screw me, it did not good. No, 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 you failed. This is what I think of Friday the fucking 13th.
Ow. This hurts. Fuck you, Friday 13th.